recording. I know we're recording. That's why I just kept talking. Welcome <laughs> to another episode of the Nothing and Everything. I don't even know which which camera to look Start at. Over. That was I know. There's like so many looking at us right now. <laughs> to another episode. Let's look at all of us. Welcome. Like, well, okay. Do you it know. again. Welcome to another episode of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we will talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> like my eyes are literally going in a circle from like. So what had <laughs> happened was. <laughs> does we, it look different? Does anything look different? Does anything look different to you? So it feels really different. Yeah. So typically we have a pretty standard setup in here. A couple cameras, three cameras, whatever. They're placed in the same spot every single time. All 40 episodes There's nothing so far. Different. Nothing has been different. That's what. Until That's today, what was, it was told to us. There's now, nothing different. All three cameras are directly in front of us, like oh. we're doing some sort of press conference. I feel like this is the one I should be looking at, like right there. But then this the one, one is probably the watch. Yeah, well, there's the two of them looking at you, so I take your pick. I feel like there's three looking at me, actually. Well, that one's looking at me. So, <laughs> anyway, here's looking at you, kid. Oh, what's that from? I don't even know. So anyway, the movie. So we were like, "Hey, Austin, what's different?" He goes, "Nothing's different," and we're like, "I mean." Like something is different. That light is about this six light inches is from your really head. Really close to me. This one is making me sweat on the back of my neck right now. <laughs> Gonna make you sweat. It... <laughs> Wait, hang on. Who is that? Is that from Coming to America? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what's going on. So things are completely different. Yeah. Austin's oh, like and nothing's different, and we, we have, have a brand new table. We have a well. We have a new pallet wood table. Yeah. Put some planks of. There's some, wood on some planks wood. that's here, so Austin they're not even uh, secured. <laughs> we get, need to get like a nail gun. It's true. Yeah, but really, like he was like, "I can tape them down for you." Yeah, we'll just tape them. So there you have it. So which whoever's looking at me, this is our World Cup special, right? World World Cup. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, man. There is a ton going on. There's, I mean, there's a lot to talk about today. So know. you know what? You talk about World Cup because I don't know yeah. diddly squat about soccer yeah i don't know that much either i just it's interesting it's kind of like the olympics i don't know anything about it but every it's, four years it's, it's nothing like, like the olympics no but i'm saying kind of like it like it happens every four years oh. i don't think about it yeah, yeah, yeah. oh it's on that's kind of cool but you and your family have like a so i just made it up on the spot like friday or saturday i was like hey let's do this and so i think there are 32 teams in the world cup you know you had to qualify and all that stuff and so I was like, okay, well, there's seven of us. Did Charlotte make it? Charlotte FC is not in it. But I wonder if uh, some of their players are. Oh, they had they, that really good guy from uh, They stepped Poland. away and formed their own he's team. On the Polish team. They did. They, <laughs> they go back to their respective works. countries. I mean, it's like. So this is the problem. I don't it's understand. Be good. No, go no go I'm not going to defend the whole it. world. No, I don't want to do that. that. All that international <laughs> listenership that we have. Mm hmm. They're up right now or watching some games. I feel like um, if we had someone from Argentina, that'd be cool because that's where um, uh, yeah, we know some Lionel. Argentina. Lionel's from there. Rich, Lionel. Not yeah. Richie. Not Lionel Messi. Richie. <laughs> Messi. Lionel Richie is from Lionel. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> when he runs, like his hair is like blowing in, you know, mm. in the wind. Yeah, those Jerry Curls. It's kind of cool. Anyway. I wasn't going to say Jerry Curls. So I don't know. I don't know anything about soccer. So is that all well, you want to say? Cause this yeah, is that, that was it. I'm just saying that this is our World Cup breakdown. It's happening. It's the only thing happening this week. Yeah. Man, there's actually a ton going on this week. There's a ton going on this week. This is Thanksgiving week. Yep. So, you know, you know what? Let's let's just talk about something we're thankful for. Okay. I'm thankful. <laughs> this is a segue. This is what they call a segue. Not the one you ride, but we're riding into have you ever ridden, have you ever ridden a segue? A se- I've never ridden a segue. I'm I'm afraid. Is a segue the one with no hands? No. Like it's the, got the handle thing on it. The other thing that's called death trap, the one you, that's just the wheel. Right. Have you seen the one with the just the one wheeler? I have seen. Those. I seen like a. I, I seen a. I saw a, like a sixty year old man. You seen? I'm okay with seeing. I think he had gone off the side of the road the other day because he he had a helmet on and everything. I mean, this was like right outside my neighborhood. So you know, you it's left like, him there. No, he was just kind of crawling back out of the woods, and I was like, oh. But then I saw him like on the. I seen him on the. It's called on the one the wheel. I don't know what it's called. It's pretty cool. I tried the segue, like the, I guess it's a two wheeler where you stand in the middle. There's no handlebar. Oh you no, bro! To, you lean forward, and it, you know. Uh, it didn't go well. I would be on I was one in of a those jewelry store in Guangzhou, China. This is 
I don't even know. See? I feel like you need to tell the story now. Was that was that the story? <laughs> that was that was the story. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Back to your segue. Let's talk about what transition. we're thankful for. Yep. I'm thankful for this great little place really close to our our church here. This is beautiful. Called Sipco. Oh, gosh. I'm thankful for Sipco. Matter of fact, I'm so thankful for Sipco and I like them so much. Yep. We want to share a little bit of that with you. So if you're listening today, then you're or watching, gonna, or watching um, then you're going to get like, um, it's, like it's kind of like a bonus. It's like a bonus, just a little little gift from the Nothing and Everything podcast yeah. and Sipco to say thank you to you. So I tried. Uh, what was it called the other day? Uh, Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Yeah. Yeah. And it was terrible. No, you enjoy. I it? didn't drink any of it, but it so has I guess it's like a suicide. Like it's all the soda flavors, and then pickle and then juice. And pickle juice, and there were like pickle but, chips in the bottom. Yeah, that's gross. And I drank all of most of it. It was good to sip on. Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't want to just guzzle it. Like oh right, boy, right. I'm sure. Hot and thirsty. I had the sunset dream, which was um yeah every bit of that. Yes, mm. with sun drop as the base, it was really good. Mm, sounds delicious. Anyway, you'll like this, and you might want to stay tuned for um you know. We may actually come up with our own drink and try to uh, see if Sipco would put it out there. Maybe the nothing and everything. Yeah. Drank. I had a good one, but I'm you'd be like, "What's the base?" I'll be like, "Purple." Purple drink. <laughs> purple drink. <laughs> That'd be Sugar, awesome. Sugar, water, purple. and purple. <laughs> and of course, purple. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gerald and Kyle, and we're here today at Sipco. So, what I wanted to do today, do to do today was I wanted to introduce Kyle to one of my favorite things. There's a little company; they sell drinks. It's called Sipco. They have all different kinds of sodas and teas and all kinds of stuff like that. And so, I love coming here because they put all different kind of flavors and stuff in it. And today. Kyle gets to try his first one, and so I'm pretty excited about it. Kyle, are you excited? I'm very excited. Okay, and so it's all new. there's like I think the owner's here, so we can go and kind of hang out with him, get to know him, and uh, and check check this place out. So here we go. Here we are today at Sipco with our friend and founder Stephen. So Stephen, we have we have all kinds of questions because you know we uh, we don't really know everything behind Sipco, but we like we like everything so far it's except different. except coconut. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of coconut. I like uh, coconut. You like coconut? Yeah, we'll see. Do you like coconut? I'm a big coconut fan. See, yeah. uh, okay. To each his own, though. Yeah, okay, okay, good. All right, so tell us tell us your idea for Sipco. Like, how, how, did, it, how did it start? Yeah, uh, me and John, the co-founder, okay. um, we went to school out in Utah, and believe it or not, there's one of these soda places on every block mm. all around. Oh, wow. They're huge. And we loved them, uh, went all the time, and we thought... Hey, there's none out in the south. It's cool. Let's move out here and see if people like it out here. And so far they do. You know, there's one reason why there's none really around here is because Kyle and I we've, feel like been doing it <laughs> we've been doing this for a long time <laughs> where you go to the local 7-Eleven and you just take a big gulp. Yep. And you hit every single one. And that's how you come up with the drink the you know, the, the suicide or the suicide. whatever. Some people call it. We call it a suicide. But, you know, after Little League games a long time ago, I mean, 30 plus years ago, put all the flavors in there. It didn't taste that great. No, it was cool. But somehow, yeah, it tasted terrible, but somehow it worked. Yeah, and I think that's probably the idea here. Is like you put a whole different things that you no, might not think work bro, together. You just said it tasted do. terrible. It no, doesn't no, taste terrible. I, it tastes great. I, <laughs> what I are you doing? It's going to taste good though. You're ruining. We this. wouldn't <laughs> think certain flavor combinations, but then when you actually drink them, yeah, it's probably going to be good. Or, the, except yeah. coconut. The genesis of Sipco. I mean, it's the heart of every child mixing all those different mm, things. See? I mean, we got a drink right here, the, the pickle Rick. That one, I guess, would looks like it was made by a child. It's every soda combined, and then we add pickles and it sounds Ugh. it sounds crazy Pickle Pickle sound we actually we actually did not come up with that it was the locals here in charlotte really? yeah who said have you tried adding pickles and i said no way oh, is that, that a thing like in North That's, Carolina. what yeah. what is and, wrong with you people <laughs> but people are adamant i mean it is probably the, the most controversial drink we have we have absolute lovers and then absolute oh, haters gosh, yeah so i would probably be a hater i don't, like, I don't maybe like we'll make it for you uh, and uh, uh, i don't like i don't like pickles i don't like pickles well let's let's talk about the building because i ain't gonna 
when we first came by here, I had some like some Goodwill clothes I was gonna drop off. I thought it was a drop off location. But, and then we got there, I was like, oh, I get some. <laughs> so I get a drink and then get get a receipt for, yeah, a little tax write off, that's awesome. So it's a shipping container. Yeah. And you're in, we're in the, I, I guess we're kind of like behind Concord Mills Mall. Yeah. And um, this place is, uh, I It's hidden. Yeah. It is hidden. It is hidden. I'm happy these leaves are falling down because yeah. people can see this. No one knows where we are. Yeah. And yeah, it took a lot of creativity and work to kind of get this all together. Sure. Um, long story short, uh, there's just not a lot of vacant drive throughs yeah. around, and the Starbucks are, they get to pick and choose. Yeah. Yeah. So we're this small fish in a, in a big pond, and um, the shipping container is a lot cheaper than building an entire building. Yeah. A lot cheaper. So we thought, why don't we recycle, refurbish? this thing put it together and try to make it not look like a donation yeah. center <laughs> i'm sorry man I'm this is this is a rendition one hopefully the future stores will look better and better yeah so. cool. i mean i would totally buy like four of these containers and put them together and build a house like people i want to live in a shipping Everybody container house people do do it yeah, yeah. people do do it <laughs> why would you say that <laughs> people do it you haven't seen people that? do it it's yeah awesome. i would totally do that that'd yeah. be awesome that'd be awesome okay so what i want to know then is so my my favorite drink is called the Southern Afternoon. It's a, yeah. it's a sweet tea, iced tea drink, whatever. It's really good. But I want to know how you come up with some of the names because some of the names are the names are a little bit different. Like our producer Austin, he likes the Pikachu <laughs> hoop, oh, Pikachu. and it's like a sour. It's like a sour how did you drink. Come up with whatever? that one specifically. You know. Yeah, we were in the war room thinking about it for a long time. <laughs> war, room. war room. It took us a long time. We have a whole sheet I could show you of hundreds of names. That's the best part was making up yeah. names. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, That'd be fun. Yeah. Pikachu is a Pokemon that's electrical. And that's the only drink on the menu that has our sour powder in it. Okay. Wow. And so kind of sour, electricity, it's kind of where we came up with there the alliteration. Go. Yeah. But sour electricity, poop. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Perfect together. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, so our hope today is we'll be able to get a couple drinks, enjoy it, and then maybe even let some people know that they can come here and get some drinks too. Mm, yeah. Sounds good. That'd be awesome. I like it. Maybe even a nothing and everything drink easy possibly oh, yeah. easy yes yeah. we can have our own drink said easy easy yeah wait so For you guys of course <laughs> what, what, what would the drink be though no coconut yeah i was gonna say no no coconut no, no coconut. pickles no coconut no, no pickles, pickles. coconut and pickles only <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> coconut water pickle juice mm, that delicious. sounds terrible <laughs> terrible we should probably come up with an idea yeah, for what that drink war room would be. we'll find out war room we'll let you know it'd be awesome Steven, thanks so much, man. Yeah, of course. This thanks has been a pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Oh, we're, yeah, okay, there we go. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> hey. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Austin, <laughs> thanks for being here, bud. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so I think what I want to try today is a sunset dream, but not in the energy drink, because I don't need it. I can't need, handle it. I can't handle it. Yeah. But when I came up with it, I originally made it with sun drop because sun drop with North Carolina. man so good go. very nice yeah I can do that I can oh sun drop, sun drop? just what do you sun think? drop no like energy or anything let's do it All right. I trust you man I trust you <laughs> alright I want to try it you want to go in the fridge right there and hand me a red bull the fridge is though that's a freezer ding -a come on you why, why are you talking like that? I don't see Red Bull. There, near the bottom. Get the Red Bull, Austin. It's the one with the Red Bull on it. Man, he's oh, good. And it's fast too, like, when I was here, oh, it's a bendy straw. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like a bendy oh, straw. A, yeah! Straw. Oh, bendy straw too. Dang, the whole thing is, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Did you get one? The Royal Treatment. All right, here we go. We got to yeah. we got to get the pickle Rick on film too. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah. Pickle Rick. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Let's do it. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the Sunset yeah. Dream. That one is so good, man. Mm. That's why it won. Oh, pickle Rick. Yeah, do a small. Sunset small. Dream with Sun Drop. I taste the uh, cream, the vanilla cream. cream. Yeah. It he had another one too that's similar, but it's almost like a dreamsicle. Mmm. Yeah. Sam, you made up the oh, dreamsicle too, right? That is really that good. That one was so good. That is really good. Yeah. And Rick, I can't promise you're gonna- Oh yeah, we gotta get this on. Come on now. Let's oh, get this on video. Rick. 
No bendy straw. What's up with that? You gotta go straight down. The you gotta go straight with that. There's no no pleasure in that. I drink it. I drink the whole thing. No way. It's good. If you like pickles, like it doesn't. It's not super sour, but there's a little bit of. Uh, from what I've nah, heard, I'm not trying it. After I'm not trying it. Mm -mm. Have you heard of people who drink? Who used to drink Coke with peanuts in it? Yeah. Construction workers. Yeah, this is just like the saltiness or whatever. That's what I've heard with this. Never heard of that. Is the salting, like the saltiness of the yeah. pickle, the tartness of it, I guess, wow. mixed with the I'll sweet. I'll on it. Like, I'm not going to be like, throw it back, but. Hmm. This is good. Pickle break. So you guys, I mean, your your drink could be uh, your, the name of your podcast or it can be whatever you want. Do you want to do something mm. clever? So what else is going on? Well. This morning, actually, since we're talking yeah, a about a couple of days ago, yeah, couple actually, days ago. yes. So, actually, this from this weekend kind of until now, like, um, I feel like it's been a pretty, uh, pretty awesome uh, couple of days. We actually, my daughter and I went to uh, went with Austin to harvest. Yeah, am I allowed to say this? Harvest some turkeys. Ooh, Grab harvest. Them. Yeah, the workers were few. Never mind. Go ahead. But the harvest is plentiful. Yeah. With the turkeys. So is that what, what you that, call it? Harvesting? Harvesting. Yeah. Yeah. So what that means, or processing, what that means that is different. we went out there. You know, so, you know, I, I teach a community group here at church, right, on right. Sundays. And when I tell stories like this to them, they look at me and go, Gerald, you, you don't do that kind of stuff. And what my wife said, and she actually came to my aid, and she was like, you know, Y'all only know one side of Gerald, mm, which is the okay. side where he's all, you Just know, kind of prim and proper or whatever at the <laughs> church, you know, like dressed, you know, dressed up sure. and doesn't want to get his hands dirty kind of thing, you know, on a Sunday morning. But there's more to him. Mm. So I'm 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 sort of a layers. I'm sort of a, like an urban redneck. I was going to say international man of mystery, but no, I'm not really international. Are we by your soccer comment earlier that was <laughs> offensive to yeah, right. the world. So I'm, urban redneck. I, I like that. I'm a, I yeah, can, that can, might be my new brand. Yeah. I might I might I might brand that. The urban redneck? The urban redneck. So yeah. I like all things city. I like fine dining at places like Popeyes and uh, Fine Dining at Popeyes. You know, Zaxby's. Um stuff like that. But I also like getting in the woods. Yeah. I like doing some things that are different than what I would normally do. So this weekend we were out harvesting some turkeys, and so that whole process is actually quite disgusting. Yeah, um, we we've done about Austin and I and uh, Josie and Ashley. We've probably done I don't know thirty something, thirty something chickens. You had that many? Oh wait, chickens? How many? This turkeys? is a while back. Yeah. So we only did about what eight? How many turkeys do you have running around? Seven or eight turkeys at the gobbler. How many turkeys do you have? Or seven? Eight. I'm saying you processed all of them. Yeah. Well, except one. We pardoned one. You what? Pardoned one. Oh. It was actually kind of cool. So he was like... Like a ceremony? <clears throat> there was no ceremony. He just didn't kill it. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here's what's funny. Them turkeys, one by one, were coming out, hollering over here where he's, you know... Well, they yeah, just saw their friend get murdered. Meats, and they're just like, yeah. oh, look, there's food. And they just keep on eating. Not... They don't care a lick. So... Probably not the smartest... We oh, harvested those turkeys. Trees. It was awesome. So, it, I mean, it goes from, you know, the whole thing sitting there glorious to <laughs> shrink-wrapped, ready to put in the freezer. So are you having this for Thanksgiving? No, we won't have this one. So we just wanted to, uh, you know, it, it needs, a what, a day or so to whatever, get the rigor mortis out, uh, whatever it is. I don't know. Like and then we just freeze it. Crypt. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll have that later. We'll, right. Yeah, we'll eat that one later, but. That's cool. What do y'all do for Thanksgiving? What's your what's your tradition? Uh, we travel to Virginia. All the families up there. So we'll leave Wednesday. Where in Virginia? It's pretty uneventful. Uh, Lynchburg, Central Virginia. That'd be cool. We'll see family, uh, both sides of the family. Uh, Carrie's like, she's got a big family with siblings and lots of cousins. We'll do a big Thanksgiving thing over there Thursday. Yeah. That'd be cool. And then one of my kids' birthdays this week and people mm. traveling in from town. So, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. It's really fast. And then we'll turn around and come home sad Saturday. You got plans, don't you? We do have plans. Before we take off, though, we are going to do like a service 
mm-hmm. at the church, which is probably one of my favorite services of the year. I like it because we we eat together, eat like a Thanksgiving meal yep. together, and then we do um, we take the Lord's Supper during the service that we do, and it's just it's just a really cool time to reflect on family and life and being thankful. I, I like doing that kind of thing. No, yep. like it's that. Low it's key. exciting. It's, for yeah, me. that's yeah. good. But except my. Um, we, we usually have younger children in the room, mm, and well, it gets yeah, a little. Right. My husband yeah. always said, "Hey, I get to go to church. Do I have to go to my class?" And I was like, "No, you get to come with us." Mm. And I was just like, "Oh boy." Yeah. Wound up. Um, but one of the things that that's weird about me, I guess, there's and there's a lot. So I'm just gonna pick this for now. I don't like to decorate anything for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. So. We don't do anything at my house oh boy. until the Friday because we don't go like Black Friday shopping because mm-hmm. that's when, you know, I'm going to go to jail if I go Black Friday You know, Black shopping. Friday shopping used to be a big deal. It feels like, I mean, with online shopping and all this like early stuff now, I've I've <laughs> been out like, not like, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning or spending yeah. the night, but, you know, I'll get up and go 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and it's like, there's nobody there. Like, it's it feels like a normal day. It's, like, it's over not by that point? Or? It's either over or mm. it just never was because, uh, you. you know, everybody's shopping online yeah. or they've already done their black. You know, Black Friday starts, like, in October. Right. And I'm like, I don't I don't understand yeah. all of that. Yeah. You're going to be mad at us because all of our Christmas stuff is already up. Well, but I'm not, like, a crazy early Christmas person. It was kind of like, because we're gone for four days, mm-hmm. if we don't do it now, yeah. all of a sudden we're two, three weeks into December before we get around. So... Well, Ugh. so I say all of that. Yep. But did you do it? And this is like it's it, this is our our thing. This is what we do in my in my home. You can do whatever you want. I'm mm. not doing As that. As for Gerald and his house, and this we is how will we do it. We will celebrate Thanksgiving first before we start to celebrate Christmas. So, um, anyway, I come home Uh-oh. Sunday. We had dinner with Pastor up here at the church. It's where new members come to, you know do that deal um i get home and there's decorations everywhere like put up put up these new like hey i just bought this at no hobby lobby my wife she went she jumped a gun man (gasps) yeah so she was smiling all big at me christmas music's playing and i was like this isn't right something it's not right in your spirit. Yeah. Now the were you tree, like upset or were you just kind of like caught off guard? Like what? No, what? actually, I was I was completely fine because it meant <laughs> I didn't have to do any of it. <laughs> but the tree is like our thing. Like I, I don't want the tree to go up until we're all together as a family sitting down. I agree with that. We did that. We while did that while I Saturday scream night. at my kids, come over here and help. What are you doing? If somebody broke, put your phone down. This was the year for us when we have. Um, you know, we have, like, whatever ornaments, and then every year, like, we get one ornament for each child that something would kind of, like, symbolize that mm. past year. You know, yeah. like, well, one of my kids finished driver's ed, so she got something that was a car or something like that. A steering like that. wheel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have an actual car. Mm-hmm. This is But you have an ornament. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. Um, and one of my kids lost a whole bunch of teeth this year, so she got, like, a giant tooth. Oh, I thought you would string the tooth up on, some like, some thread yeah, or something. Yeah, it's kind of like the popcorn line. thing where you hang it up yeah. there. Yeah, all their we teeth. Keep all of our children's teeth. That sounds like something from that's Silence like, of the Lambs that's like or something. Dahmer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Have you seen that show? <laughs> that Jeffrey, Full disclosure, Jeffrey I Dahmer? started watching it. Yeah. Back right the weekend or two that came mm-hmm. out, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. So it was, I, it was too. It was too much. It's pretty crazy. The only reason why I even wanted to watch it was because I remember it. Yeah. When it was like on the news when I was younger. Yeah. So I was like, oh, let's watch this, and then uh, I don't know. We we're in the first episode, and I was like, nah, I'm good. This is terrible. Right. Yeah, it was it was And we watched it on We just went from like, hey, Christmas decorations and Thanksgiving is great. Let's break down some serial killers. <laughs> like I'm just saying. It got kinda dark. It was fun. Yeah. I don't think it was fun. Oh, it was well no. I think that's it wasn't the word fun. you just used. No, yeah. that was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are you doing this week for Thanksgiving? We'll just we'll we'll be with my family. So my uh, brother and his family. Mm. So yeah, we'll just do that whole whole deal. No shopping. Oh gosh, no, no, no. My wife the other day was like, uh, she's like, I feel like I'm, I'm so behind on like I, 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 Christmas shopping. I haven't done it, and I was just like, baby, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Mm. Like I'm not, I don't wait till the last minute. I'm not that mm. guy that goes in on Christmas Eve and gets everything. But I was like, honey, it's, we're still a month away. Like yeah. you're okay. Yeah. So 
So let me finish what, what I was saying earlier about the weekend. <laughs> what? I've, I'm having this moment where I'm like, did we already talk about this? Because, you know, we Give always a shot. Let's see. We always talk before we start recording. I, yeah, and I'm like, we, wait, did we just talk about this? So I went hunting. Did we talk about hunting yet? I don't think we ever got to that. So that's what you did. We went from yeah, we about the turkey processing. We from turkey processing yep. to this morning. Yep. Literally this morning, just a couple hours ago, <gasps> I shot my first deer. Fresh. Congratulations. Shot and killed them dead. Little boy. Yep. Yeah. Came out from the side, walked out in front of me, probably 50 yards away, smoked them. You have to sling that thing on your back? Uh, back the country? Negative. No. You're the, you're the urban redneck. So I'm the urban a, redneck. You had a so segue to go, and go, go pick a, it up. <laughs> a John Deere Gator. <laughs> a John Deere Gator. Literally <laughs> lifted it up. Like, I would have had Austin come with me with all these cameras. Like, that's the kind of urban redneck I am, right? Like, I'm going to shoot this deer, but I need it on film. Here, kinda, here's you know, a drink, kinda Gerald. Yeah, a, right, a, right. You know, here, let's pout, let's some, some body armor, you know, <laughs> drink, electrolytes to re- replenish, replenish climbing yeah. up and out of the stand, you know. <laughs> So anyway, so totally shot weird. that deer. Man, that thing jumped up and took off running. But I, <gasps> After I put, you hit it? Yeah. Uh-oh. It ran about 50 yards. Like, literally, I, I shot it. You know, I've never shot a deer before, so I don't know what to expect. I thought, I've seen the videos where it's like you shoot it and it just drops, just buckles. And, you know, so I was like, oh. It explode, you know. but it didn't. I mean, I got to shoot this thing with a 308, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, it should be fine. I shot it. It jumped about 8 or 10 feet in the air and just took off running. So, but yeah, I think it bled out before it yeah. actually ever stopped. It was like, so, hey, oh, mom, I'm co- oh. And mom's like, oh. mm. hey, Claire Bell, you okay? <laughs> okay. Bambi, Bambi, you good? Bambi. So anyway, so, and then, you know, threw it in the back of the truck, took it to the processing place, mm. and left. And that's it. And a week later, I'll go back and get me some deer meat. What a pro- your provider. You know, it's just funny because people are just like, you don't do that. You don't do those kinds of things. They didn't. But think, I'm yeah. here to say. Now, if you had processed the deer yourself, that would have I would have gone up. Oh like, yeah. Like, if I would have field dressed it, I will tell you this: because of my experience with Austin doing some processing, some or harvesting some, yep. uh, you know, other animals, I, I would be fine to at least try it. I mean, I would need some help because I don't know what to cut and what to pull and what to, you know, whatever. But this, I'd be willing to this try. This sounds like a future episode. I feel like we should do an episode where we're in in a field, yeah, and we shoot a deer, and like, I mean, like, cut it up and like. I'd be mean, one of those where, you know like, on like Instagram or I guess Facebook does it too. Where I don't, we're not on Facebook, but like, it says like. Warning, sensitive content. It's right, all blurred right, out. Yep, like, oh, yep. I still want to see this. Yep, yep, yep. Show content, <laughs> show video, show picture, whatever. It'd be cool, though, if we were, like, in Canada and we have to, like, cut up a moose. Yeah, seriously. So if there's anybody listening. Like, walk it out like a mile. Who has some land. Or, you know, here's the deal. If you're listening. If you want the urban redneck. If you want the urban redneck and his sidekick, <laughs> sidekicks. To show up with a whole bunch of cameras and stuff like that. Yeah. We would definitely we not can, scare the deer off. Yeah. You know something else I, I, I want to do? I want to shoot a hog one day. A hog? A hog. Yeah? You see those running around a lot? I mean, not where I live. I live in Harrisburg. Man, I live in a subdivision. Actually, I see deer running Thus around. Thus urban, right? huh? Thus the urban. You're the suburban redneck. That's what you... <laughs> you're not the urban redneck. You're the suburban redneck. Yeah, that's probably more like <laughs> it. Do you see them? Where do you see them? I don't see a lot of... Well, I got some woods oh, right behind my house. Some, you see them back there? Oh man, all the time. Really? They'll be eating some berries. Huh. My neighbor has a garden, so they eat. They eat her Make you know, a little cucumbers trail. and eggplants. Be able to come up to the house, a little berry trail, and then come what? Up to your patio. Hit it with a hammer or something. I can't shoot a thing in my backyard. Let's film that. <laughs> that would be, that would be <laughs> a great deer episode. will stand up on me and be like, no, no, I was talking about the the hogs. I thought you said you had oh. hogs in your backyard. No, I have deer in my backyard. Oh, that's why I was confused. I was like, man, I've never seen a. I mean, I see deer in my backyard, but I'm like, I've never seen a hog. If I shot that hog, you would hear the gunshot at your house. Probably. From my house. Gerald? Is that? <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let the call out, whatever it, whatever it is, <laughs> that I just shot a hog. Ooh, but I would like to. That would be exciting. I saw, a, I saw these guys do a thermal hog hunt from a helicopter. 
Oh my They're word. strapped in there, hanging out the side of a helicopter, and like, goo, 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 just shooting these hogs. They have these thermal glasses on or a thermal scope. Is or that whatever. the best way to do it? it seems a little. It seems pretty awesome. It's, it does seem awesome. I was like, you don't just go out and be like, hey, let's go do that. I it could, just let me seems go pretty epic. Fire up the helicopter. Yeah, I'd want. I want to do it with that like airwolf, and like have the guns mounted on the front. Oh, that, that would be awesome. Airwolf, like, bacon. Man, that was my bacon. <laughs> Be pretty awesome. A couple of my kids would be happy, man. They can pound some bacon. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think we need to do a hunting episode one day. Yep. Call your people. Urban redneck. It, wait, he is our people. We, like, he is. He's got the land and the our, cameras. We're his people. We are people. We are his people. We, right. Yeah. So anyway, that was a had a great time doing that. So. Excellent. Is there anything else? It's a lot. Thanksgiving, World Cup, hunting. Think, oh, we we're gonna break down. Uh, you mentioned we mentioned last week there was like a um, a ranking of the worst restaurants. Oh, fast from food or something like that. Oh yeah, from our fast we food. We talked episode. about Jack in the Box or something, we, and ooh, it was not very good. We just put them on blast. Oh, sorry. I mean, you know those guys. I did actually mean? see something. It was just last night. I was watching, looking on Twitter at this. Um, they ranked like the thirty-five worst restaurants in America. Worst fast food joints in America. I don't know that I could name thirty five fast food. I mean, there, there's a lot. a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, it's there's all probably of them. some that are kind of regional. Well, like, like Starbucks was on there. Okay. Okay. And so the, it's so it pretty, started like it's they a were loose like, definition of fast. They were like number thirty four. So those restaurants weren't. I want to see that list. Like Zaxby's on there. Yeah. And, you know, so, but they're hot. They're you know. So it's like there's because there's not that many. But guess what number one was? The worst. The worst. If Jack, <coughs> excuse me, hmm. if it wasn't that, one, I mean, it probably had to be something like just McDonald's or something. It was McDonald's, it? yeah, because the ice cream machine is never <laughs> operable. <laughs> McDonald's is the they say it's the worst. This you yeah. know, it's I like a thrillist or something like that. Whatever. But you know, it was funny. Like maybe it was just growing up in like small town or whatever. Like going to McDonald's was like it was a big deal. When you got one in the town, you're mm-hmm. like, man, we got a new McDonald's. Yeah. Man, 85 cent Big Macs? Ronald McDonald would be there. <laughs> 85 cent Big Macs. I remember those, those days. days are long gone. Long gone. Now it's $16. Because <laughs> the person it's that made little, it, the person the person that made, that made it gets 15 of them. 15, 15 of them dollars. So, And that's all the uh, work they're going to do in an hour. Yeah. I like watching those uh, those videos where it's like people go to McDonald's and lose their minds. I, I mean, I don't like watching those, but they're kind of funny to me. And they get all mad and like... Yeah, over something stupid. I said no pickles. Then they're fighting. It's pretty bad. It's crazy. You almost have to have like a just a straight up like forget bars and chains and stuff on the window. You need that stuff right in front of the counter now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, forget like the plexiglass hanging from yeah, the ceiling. No, that, that keep that, the COVID away from you. It didn't from stop me. nothing anyway. <laughs> so you need to have like full on <laughs> bars and yep. chains and stuff. So those people, because them ladies would jump over the counter and get back there. I'm gonna get my fries. Yeah, it's a know? little, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> I said medium fry. You gave me a small. Mm. So yeah, them people don't play, man. True. And and then what's funny is you just got people who just stand in the back and just record it. They ain't trying to help nothing. They yeah, just record the, the whole thing. Yeah, man. That's the disappointing thing about humanity right now. It's mm-hmm. like, hey, this person's getting taken advantage of. Yep. Violently. Yeah. Getting Let beat me down. Or, yeah, this just going to record it. Yeah, that's, it's, a, that's, that's stupid. A, it is stupid. Yeah. Man. But it could go viral. <laughs> 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 so. Is that the saving grace of it? Like... You know what? I could be TikTok famous on this. I mean, you might pick up, you know, a couple hundred Good. Instagram followers. <laughs> you put that out there. There's so much wrong with that. You can't say Do it for the gram. So, yeah. <laughs> I love I'm how you let saying. it sit for a second. <laughs> but could go viral. <laughs> like, <laughs> Everybody wants to go viral. I have a video that could go viral. Do you? Wait. I have a video. It's not been released yet? I have not released it. It happened two years ago. Yeah? And it could go viral. I think you, didn't you show this to me? I've showed you, you, you've seen, you've seen the video. Uh, But I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to release it. Not anytime soon. Mm. But if there's a run on these kinds of videos, it's coming out. It's coming out. You got to strike. I'm going to pick up some followers. I'm going to pick up some followers. It's not ready yet. Not ready yet. So I need, need to let it cure for a little bit. (laughs) A couple years of cure. All right, so enjoy that Sipco. 
Enjoy Thanksgiving. Mm. Be happy, nice. Happy Thanksgiving. Be nice to your family. Be nice to your friends. And be nice to us. Us. Ooh. That's what I was going to say, too. Us. All right. Yeah. So anything else? I think that's a good place to stop right there. That's a good place to stop. Austin, you good? Yep. That crazy mic. <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.